Hi everyone, and yes, here I've got a Neville nugget for you today from the book At Your Command. When I did the little poll about what videos you'd like to see, 43% of you said you wanted more Neville's teachings. So I'm going to do this one for you today. It's about conditioning your desires. So it goes like this. Don't be anxious or concerned as to results. They will follow just as surely as day follows night. The reason most of us fail to realize our desires is because we are constantly conditioning them. Look upon your desires, all of them, as the spoken words of God and every word or desire a promise. The reason most of us fail to realize our desires is because we are constantly conditioning them. Now, what does he mean by that? You're putting conditions on the desire, such as, if that doesn't happen, I'll never be happy. What if I never get that? What am I going to do? How am I going to get to where I want to go? What action do I need to do to make it happen? So it's all that conditioning. We're putting conditions on our desires. Okay. Now, just accept it as it comes to you. Give thanks for it to the point you are grateful for having already received it. Then go about your way in peace. Now, this is the important sentence that's easily overlooked. Then go about your way in peace. Now ask yourself, how good am I at that when it comes to what I am currently desiring? So think about your desire right now. Think about what you really, really want. And you've been maybe looking to manifest this for a while and it has caused frustration, impatience, dissatisfaction, etc., etc. You can put all sorts of different labels on it. Anxiety, fear, depression. And you have not been able to go about your way in peace. So faith, trust, getting on with other parts of your life is that you understand that the warehouse, as Abraham Hicks talks about, or... God, the vortex, whatever words you want to use as to where your stuff is and is about to be delivered to you is there, but you must believe in it. You must trust it. You must have faith in it and develop going about your way in peace, as in going and doing other things, putting your full attention elsewhere, you see. Now, continuing on. Such acceptance of your desire is like dropping seed, fertile seed, into prepared soil. Okay, I'm going to read that again. Such acceptance of your desire, acceptance, going about your way in peace, is how you actually drop the seed and prepare the soil. Okay, now... So putting your attention, being in that state of peace around the topic of this desire that you want is the work, okay? For when you can drop the thing desired in consciousness, confident that it shall appear, you have done all that is expected of you. I'm going to read that again. For when you can drop the thing desired in consciousness. Now, drop the thing. So you got the desire, you drop it in consciousness, and you trust by making your way in peace. Then you've done all that can be expected of you. But to be worried, concerned about the how of your desire maturing is to hold these fertile seeds in a mental grasp and therefore 
never to have dropped them in the soil of confidence. So a lot of this is dropping it and literally dropping it. You drop the seed of the desire into consciousness and then you go about your way in peace, meaning you go and do other things, you let it go. And as Abraham Hicks talks about, you allow. So letting go, allowing, and you get into, as Neville says, the state of peace because you trust the process as when you watch uh, nature get a little bud, it turns into a little pod, it pops into a fruit and then the fruit ripens on the tree. So it goes through a process and this is your process that is similar to nature. Okay, it goes through this one thing at a time. It's like a conveyor belt. Okay, now the reason men condition their desires is because they constantly judge after the appearance of being and seeing the thing is real, forgetting that the only reality is the consciousness back of them. So in other words, doesn't matter how it looks on the outside. It doesn't matter what you see. You forget that the reality and consciousness, that's the important thing. What you put your focus on, what you are conscious of. Okay. So I think this is practicing. Okay, moving away from anxiety, moving away from distrust, moving away from dissatisfaction, moving away from how's this going to happen, when is this going to happen, and I can't be happy until I get it. If you can be in a state of trust and happiness and get on with the rest of the things you need to do in quiet confidence, that's when you're in the right fertile soil mentally. Okay, so ask yourself, where am I in this line of events? Where am I at? Which bit do I need to work on? So if you want to add some bits down below as to where you are at, have you got the acceptance? Are you able to go about your way in peace? Have you dropped the seed and prepared the soil? And are you confident about it? So now these all sound simple in theory, but as you know, when you're working on something, it can be challenging, but that doesn't mean because something's challenging that it can't be done. So thank you, Neville, for your little reading from At Your Command. And for those of you that would like to explore this book further, I think this is a really good one to start on because it's super thin. And it's, it's like the four ingredients book of Neville. This is the easiest one to read, I find. And this has got some very good basics to go back to again and again and again. So I'll put the link to this down below and some other Neville books and also the Neville Nuggets playlist for those of you that want to go through more little bite sizes of Neville and also the Neville Goddard playlist for those of you that want to go through things that are a little bit longer and not so nuggety, as in short. <laughs> so lots of love, everyone, and I will see you, as always, in the next YouTube.